And now we're going to talk to Carl Olson, who was uh, one of the people in charge of organizing what it's called Iceland Expedition with Subaru. Well, Carl, um, I'm amazed by your country. I really oh, love thank it. Thank you very much. I've only been much. here a couple of days, but it, it's really amazing. And really not a destination that a lot of people have uh, thought about coming as a place to... to I'm not only tourist, but like to, yeah. to, to, to present a car like Subaru Crosstrek. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, a, it's an amazing country, of course. It's really majestic. It's a volcanic island. But um, yeah, and we are here in the middle of the highlands with the Subaru team. And um, I have to say, you know, you can see where we are, you know, and we are here on a Subaru. That's, yeah. uh, it's quite amazing. And, it, and actually, um, we uh, had a pretty rough uh, drive yesterday. Yeah. And um, you go obviously have like, the big, big, big SUVs, like yeah. oh, super, super capable of anything. Yeah. But uh, you were actually surprised by what the Subaru went through uh, yesterday, yeah, no, right? No, no, that's, that's the thing, you know, to get the Subaru here, it is amazing. And it just shows what the, uh, the Subaru, and it's a hybrid, yeah. can do, actually. <laughs> so, because uh, this is the first time we, we go so far in and at the winter time. So it was an expedition, but it went well. All the Subarus are here. Yeah. And uh, a couple of punctures is nothing. This is no, it's yeah, an expedition, so yeah, it's like you can, you can it's get those, you can get those in uh, anywhere. Anywhere, yeah. It's quite amazing. So I have to, you know, I have to uh, I'm raving about the cars actually. Yeah. It's it's an amazing car. So and I'm raving about your country again. So tell us a little bit more about uh, I mean other things that people can come and do here in Iceland. Yeah, a lot of people come here due to uh, the volcanoes and uh, like especially now uh, we're getting a clear sky tonight. It's going to be the uh, time of the aurora borealis. It's the northern lights in the sky, which is easy. And and like you mentioned, um, um, not many people know about this from the U.S. But still, it's a four and a half flight, four and a half hour flight from uh, JFK, New York. Yeah. Then we fly Boston, Seattle, Washington. We we have all the big routes in uh, yeah, from the US. Iceland and Air, the Air, Iceland Air, yeah. Uh, they fly to Orlando. They fly, uh, they fly. Yeah, they they do Orlando direct, directly. They do Canada, and now we have uh, Delta flying also from from JFK and Boston directly. Yeah. And, so uh, Iceland, besides like uh, we went in the hot springs here, we're oh, yeah. like, like I mean this is radio, but uh, so we're here in the, this valley. Yeah. There's like these mountains that are not very high, and then there's like this little hot place springs. with water, hot springs, and yeah. like, it's amazing. Well, as we can, we can see, the the highest point here is about uh, 3,500 feet, yeah. which is uh, Blaufjord over here. Now, if we if we take a look at this side, where all the the lava, this is actually a lava flow which stopped over here. Okay. And the water is coming underneath the lava because it's it's uh, the still cooling down actually and we, when we if we look further into the mountains we can see steam and mud pools and, and stuff hot springs so this hot spring is, is amazing it's about um, 41 degrees celsius it's about what, 95 to 100 in Fahrenheit. yeah we so, actually went went in last night at midnight yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, which, that's 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 you thing. put those those things together yeah, that's I mean, the thing, outside you know? we are like about 30 degrees 37 degrees yeah and then um yeah. going into the spring at, at night it's yeah. like pretty cool yeah, that's uh, that's about you know that's that's how it is. You only live once. You, exactly. you, you need to make the most of it while you're here. Also. Absolutely, yeah. That's quite so, amazing. So, uh, Carl, where can audience, uh, our audience can uh, find out uh, about about you and uh, your company in Iceland? Well, you can go on uh, www.luax.is. Everything's there. You know, we have some proposals and what we're doing. So, uh, everyone are free to visit the site. It's no problem. Excellent. Thank you very much again. And, Thanks, man. Uh, can you say goodbye in Icelandic? Because uh, yeah, I, I, I would say like uh, I would say like uh, you know have a nice trip and, and see you later. I would say in Icelandic, you know, goda ferð, sjáumst í Reykjavík. Thank you. Tak. Okay. Tak. <laughs> Tak. <laughs>